All right, what's going on, guys? A lot of people in the console war are one side or the other. People like me have this on our ass. We're the target, as it were, sometimes. Now, this video is in response to the debate between Hellhound and Clock Ninja. Um, more or less. My position has always been more technology neutral. I mean, don't I'm not gonna lie and say I don't have preferences because I do. Any person will have preferences. But I'm an analytical person and I view it as such. So it is what it is in that regard. Basically what I look for in technology is the good, bad, and different. So to me I can find cons on the PS3 and 360 MOA and PCs. And when I say PC, I mean Mac, Linux, OS X, you know, Windows, whatever. Operating system, you know, any piece of technology. What to me happens is when the debate is no longer factual, is when it becomes nothing more than a sporting event and, quite frankly, dumb. Now, I'm not saying the debate in and of itself is dumb. I have no problem with people doing feature comparisons, finding flaws in design, UI design, whatever. I have no problem with that. That is good consumer-oriented advice. To me, it's when it simply becomes a them versus us mentality, and people become closed-minded, and they refuse to you know, open their mind eye or their two eyeballs plastered to their freaking face. That's when the debate becomes dumb to me. So, you know, call it uh, me in the minority, if you will, but at the end of the day, that's the boat I float in. I'm not going to force a Lexus to go down someone's throat if it's not going to meet their needs, and I'm going to force a consumer purchase down someone's throat if it doesn't meet what they're looking for, be it price range, be it features, functions, whatever. That's just how it goes. And I think a lot of people forget that. You know, you guys get so entrenched in your sides that you refuse to pop your head out of that side. And actually meet in the middle somewhere. Because it's people like me who, yeah, I think some of the aspects of the debate are dumb, but I'm not going to call everyone that debates it stupid because they have their preferences for a reason, and that's cool. But once you guys get outside of the factual reasoning and just start spewing crap, you know, company FUD from either side, then it's really just not worth listening to. It becomes The debate becomes less fun. It becomes more annoying, and it makes the debate, you know, whole seem more childish. To anyone that's observing outside of it. And that's why people say, you know, video games are stuff for the kids, as it were. And it's really not. But, on the same note, um, the gamers are feeding into the bigger multimedia troll, you know, the network trolls. They're saying, you know, gamers, blah, 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 they're idiots or whatever. And what I try to do is show them that we're actually analytical, that we look at things, pros, cons, and different. So, maybe it's time to poke your head out of the trenches and maybe meet in the middle somewhere, guys. Facts and functions, that's what it's all about to me. Once you get outside of that, it's not a debate anymore. It's just straight up FUD. So, peace, rate, subscribe, you know what the hell to do.